What is going on everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So if you've been around my channel for a little while, then you know that I have looked at a lot of different banks with new requests coming in every single day, which I absolutely love and appreciate so much. So today I thought we would take a look at another viewer request, which brings us to today's review on Axos Bank. Axos Bank is actually the oldest online bank here in the United States, which was actually really surprising to me because personally I thought that Ally Bank held the old man card, but Axos has clearly had a lot of time to refine their products and the services that they offer to their customers. So let's break down everything that they have to offer, see how it compares to the previous banks that we've looked at here on the channel, and then I'll give you my opinion on if I think this bank is worth your time. As always, if you do get value out of this content, it would mean a lot to me if you would consider hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel, and sharing this with someone who you think could enjoy this video as well, and let's jump right into it. So Axos Bank, Axos, Axis, Ax? Nope. Access Bank offers several different checking and savings account options, and they have a lot of other features as well. So first of all, let's talk about the basic features that they offer, and then we'll talk about some of those other account types. So first off, we have their basic savings account, which is currently going to offer you 0.61% interest, and that always is going to be constantly changing, so definitely make sure you check what the current interest rate is. But compared to some other banks right now, I would say that this is middle of the road and it's definitely nothing to write home about, but it is coming in right around some other competitors like Ally Bank that is is also at a 0.61% interest rate currently. And as we've come to expect with these online banks, you're gonna have no monthly fees, no minimum balance requirements. Although I will say that you do have to deposit at least $250 in order to qualify for that APY, which is kind of a bummer. But if you're taking the time to open up your own bank account, then I'm guessing that most of you are gonna deposit at least $250. Now, as an extension of the savings account, you're also gonna have access to a money market account that has a slightly lower 0.6% interest rate. In order to open this money market account, you do need to deposit at least $1,000, which isn't a huge deal, but I think when I explain the checking account features in a second, you'll agree that this money market account just isn't worth your time at the current interest rate. So speaking of checking, you're going to have three main options with Access Bank, which they call their essentials checking account, their rewards-based checking account, and the cash back checking. Now, I know this can be a little bit confusing and they actually have other account options on their website, but let's break down these three main options and talk about the slightly different benefits that each of them offer. So their main account is is going to be the essentials checking account, which again is going to have that no fee structure, early direct deposits, which we've seen from other competitors like Chime Bank, among others, and perhaps my favorite feature, which is unlimited ATM access and ATM reimbursement, meaning you can use any ATM and basically get all of those fees reimbursed to you, which is absolutely crazy. Next, we have the rewards based checking account, which is my personal favorite and the reason that I really think the money market account is not worth your time, and that's because this rewards based checking account is currently going to give you a 1.25 percent interest rate which is absolutely insane for a checking account and actually beats out many of these savings accounts that are currently on the market but as always there is going to be a small catch and in order to qualify for that 1.25 percent interest rate you first need to receive at least one thousand dollars in direct deposits every single month and make at least 15 debit card purchases every month using your access debit card however if you do have a regular job that you already received direct deposit from and you're using that card for your regular everyday purchases then you really should have no problem meeting these two criteria and that means you're gonna earn that 1.25% interest on all of the money in your checking account. On the rewards-based checking account, you're gonna have the same unlimited ATM reimbursement options domestically, as well as no monthly maintenance fees and no minimum balance requirements. Although again, you do need to deposit in this case at least $50 in order to open the account, so there's that. And lastly, we have the cash back checking account, which is going to offer you exactly what it says, and that would be cash back on all of your debit card purchases. Now on their website, it says you're gonna earn 1% cash back on all signature based purchases, which is a little unclear in my opinion. However, in my experience, usually a signature based purchase is anything above $50. But if you do understand exactly what this means, please let us know down in the comment section below because it definitely is a little vague if you ask me. You're again going to have that free ATM reimbursement access, no monthly fees, and the other basic functions of their online accounts that comes with all of the previous accounts that we talked about today. All right, so that's what Access Bank has to offer as far as checking and savings features go. And honestly, I'm really not that impressed so far, but don't worry, there are some other features that they do offer that we haven't talked about yet. First of all, you're gonna have CDs or certificate of deposit, cer certificates of deposit. 
CDs, which go as low as one year and go all the way up to five years. Now, typically with a CD, the longer you're willing to lock that money into the account, the higher interest rate you're able to earn. Makes sense, right? But for some reason with this account, they're gonna offer 0.4% across the board, regardless of how long the CD term is. Now, this kind of stinks on its own because the rate is already pretty low. However, you'd honestly be better off keeping that money in the checking or savings account, which currently offers a higher interest rate. So at least for the time being, this CD option is kind of a non-event. Okay, well, they also have some lending features including mortgages, auto loans, and personal loans, as well as their very own proprietary investing platform that is gonna cater your portfolio to you and your investing goals for one flat fee of 0.24%. Now, this video is not about their investing platform or about investing at all. However, I do just wanna mention that their catered platform that has a 0.24% management fee is probably just going and buying the same index funds or ETFs like VOO that you could go buy on your own. And VOO currently has a 0.24%. 0.03% management fee, and there's even some Fidelity funds that have a 0% fee. So unless you really love the banking services of Axos Bank and you just want everything under the same umbrella, then I personally would not recommend this as far as investing goes. Beyond all of that, they also have 24-7 customer support, which is fantastic, and access to their online services, although I will mention that they do have three branch locations in Ohio, Las Vegas, and San Diego, but for 99% of their members, it's an online bank. And lastly, they offer access to the Green Dot Relay system, which if you're not familiar, allows you to deposit cash at over 90,000 retail locations, which is definitely an added benefit that many competitors still don't have. All right, so with all of that in mind, how does this compare to the many other options that are currently on the market? And how do I personally feel about Axos Bank? Well, some of those added account options like the CDs and money market accounts are definitely nice. But first of all, we've seen them from a lot of competitors like Ally Bank, Discover Bank, and a lot of others. Plus their rates that they're currently offering are honestly just not that competitive. Now, as far as their checking and savings, features go, they do have a lot of unique options, and that 1.25% interest rate on your checking account is definitely at the top of the pack. However, there's even options like Varo, for example, who are currently offering a higher interest rate on their savings account. So it might be a small hassle to move money from your savings to your checking account, but I wouldn't necessarily go with Access Bank just because they have a high interest rate on their checking. And the other features that Access offers, like their investing platform and their lending features, are again really nice to see, but I would also argue that Ally and Discover both have extensive lending features as well, and Ally Bank even has their own investing platform that is a little bit easier to use in my opinion. Now, that being said, I'm not blind to the fact that Ally Bank doesn't exactly have the best mobile banking platform, so it's really gonna come down to what you are looking for in your bank. If you're looking for a bank that you know you're mostly gonna be using from your desktop or computer platform, then Ally is definitely a great option. But if you are more of a mobile banking user, then Discover does have a fantastic option as well that's offering a lot of these same features that Axos currently has. That being said, if you do want a modern and sleek design with everything under one umbrella, like what Axos is trying to offer, then... Look, you know what I'm about to say you should check out SoFi. But seriously, I do see the value in having everything under one umbrella on a mobile platform like what Axis is trying to achieve here. But again, I would argue that SoFi just has a much better design and an easier to use platform. And we've seen a lot of companies and FinTech companies specifically that have prioritized the technology side of thing like SoFi and Chime, just to name a few. So at the end of the day, I am just a guy on the internet and you need to look at your situation and your financial goals to decide which bank is best for you. However, regardless of which category you fall into, I would argue that there is a better option over Access Bank, whether that be a similar platform like Ally Bank that offers some of the less common account options, or something that has a more sleek and modern design like Chime or SoFi. Either way, let me know what you think of Access Bank down in the comment section below and what other banks you'd like to see me review in the future. And of course, if you did enjoy today's content and you want to support me, then it would mean a lot if you would hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this with someone who you think could enjoy this video as well. And of course, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.